dear students enlighten yourself know yourself know what are your positivities are what are your abilities and work on them so whatever you do just enlighten yourself and do it perfectly okay so let's start that is chapter number 4 structure of an atom very very interesting right now just a quick introduction for you atoms are the basic building blocks of matter so anything which is a matter the basic unit is the atoms like the cell which is the basic unit of our body life right so like that whatever the matter is the basic unit is atom now there are different kinds of matter exist because there are different kinds of atoms present in them now now for uh, whatever matter you are taking we know that see all of you must have done that when you rub a scale on your oily hair and when you put on pieces of paper it will get attracted or when you rub your palms automatically after some time it gets warm up now what happens there whenever we rub two objects together they become electrically charged this is because atom contains charged particles in them therefore atoms can be divided into further particles protons electrons neutrons so this shows that atoms can be further divided into smaller particles protons were discovered by ernst rutherford in his famous gold foil experiment then electrons were discovered by j j thomson in cathode ray tube experiment and neutrons were discovered by james chadwick so these are very now coming to further points atom consists of protons and electrons in a balanced proportion so that is why they will cancel each other and normally the matter will be neutrally uh, neutral that means no charge at all so proton exists in the interiors of the atom and electrons exist in the exterior of the atom therefore electrons can be removed from an atom as i taught you in the nucleus the protons and neutrons are there surrounding there are orbits in which electrons are present so this shows that what are dalton's postulations it was not up to the mark so dalton suggested that atoms can either be created nor be destroyed and are indivisible but the discovery of electrons and protons in atoms led to the failure of this aspect of dalton's theory so it's very important so based on that based on so many theories there are different models of an atom one of them was thomson's model of an atom according to jj thomson the structure of an atom can be compared with christmas pudding wow very tasty where electrons are present inside a positive sphere now what it is you know the christmas pudding the cake in which the 2d fruities are considered to be the electrons so we can easily pluck it out and eat wow so tasty now coming to thomson's model of an atom what are hits his postulation an atom is composed of positively charged sphere in which electrons are embedded so very important the sphere is completely positive in which the electrons are embedded atoms atom is neutral as the positive and negative charge are equal in proportion now atoms are always neutral why because the positive and negative charges are equal in proportion so they are cancelling each other so very important these two points are very very important now coming to the diagram see this is the christmas pudding even watermelon we can compare it out and the black seeds are the electrons you can see the minus sign they are electrons right and the sphere are positives so positive sphere in which electrons are embedded now coming to rutherford rutherford model is very very good example where what he done he collided alpha particles with fast moving go the uh, alpha particles were fast moving collided with gold foil now gold foil it is atoms right so when they collided what happened there are three things happened that are most of the alpha particles pass through straight through the gold foil that means they passed straight away i'll show the diagram some of the alpha particles were deflected by the foil by small angles so very small angles they just get deflected that means they change the direction and third one 
out of 12,000 particles, only rare one, only one or two rebounds. That means same kind they came back, same direction they came back. So three things happened. One, when alpha particles collided with the gold foil, some alpha particles gone straight away. Second one, some changed a little bit direction and rarely one or two rebounced. Okay. Now from this conclusion we are getting most of the spaces inside the atom is empty. That is why alpha particles gone straight away. So the atoms having space in between. Second one, very few particles were deflected from their path because in the atom certain places positive charge of the atom was there. So as the alpha particles hits, because alpha particles are positive in size, a charge when they hit, so a sudden a small deflection will be there. Now third one, a very small fraction of alpha particles were rebounded back shows all positive charge and mass of the gold atom is concentrated in a very small volume within an atom. That means in certain place all the positive charges are concentrated. So when alpha particles hits on that place it is rebouncing it. So that is what happened. That is what the theory shows you. I will show you the diagram also. The radius of nucleus calculated was 105 times less than the radius of, an, of the atom. Very important point. Now coming to the diagram, this is the diagram showing Rutherford's model. So these are the very, very, very uh, fast moving alpha particles which is colliding with this. These are the gold foil. Okay, so these are atoms showing. So you can see this one, sick third one, then this one. These are all passing straight away. That means this shows that in the atoms there are spaces. So alpha particles are moving straight away. Now this one, you can see this one, it is deflecting. That means when it is touching the positive side, it is suddenly deflecting, changing the direction. Now this one, you can see this one. It is certainly bouncing back. That means when this alpha particles are hitting the positive, that means highly concentrated positive side, it is bouncing back. Okay. So this is how the Rutherford's model was invented or how it is hope you understand